I think you can see there the belts are all separating and that tire is shot. Welcome to Farmcraft. My log splitter tire has seen better days. Let's see what we can do about it. What are my options here? I could go buy a new tire, uh, but the problem is, is I use this thing so infrequently, the tires keep going flat uh, and then things pop, they leak, it loses its bead. You try to fix it when you go back to use it uh, and you end up with a, with a problem. Obviously I can't just keep putting tubes in this one. It's got a decent tube in it now, but that's not gonna last. I could go get a different wheel, but uh, this is a, a Harbor Freight wheel from China. And I'll show you the shaft it came off of. This is a one inch shaft and it's a three and a half inch hub. Uh, it's not a typical size. I cannot find a flat free tire uh, or really uh, any wheel tire combination reasonably priced that's gonna gonna go on there. There's a lot of YouTube videos of people making flat free tires so I'm gonna give that a try. But first I gotta take this tire off and, and do some patching on it just to kind of reinforce that a little bit. And you can see down inside where it's split. Now I'm just using shoe goo. Uh, I think this is the same thing as barge cement, but it doesn't really matter. I just need something that's gonna hold it fairly well, and you'll see why when we're done. This, uh, this joint is not critical. Shugu. So I let those sit for a couple minutes and now let's put them together. So here we are back the next day and there's my patch. It's not great but uh, it doesn't need to be. That'll be just fine. And then here's uh, some foam blue board. You can pull it this way and stick something in there. That gives you easy access to put something in. And then as far as the foam, just uh, cut a strip. And then you can break that into pieces real easy. So the problem I'm running into is that you can't set the bead because the tire doesn't hold air. And I'm trying to uh, use these holes I drilled, and use a screwdriver to get it up on the bead as much as possible on both sides. I can actually see foam in this hole coming from this one, so that's good. Excellent, I can see foam in all four holes. But I'm going to put a little more in. So I used two cans, I was thinking I'd use a third, uh, but you can see I've got some foam coming out around the bead, and then when I look underneath, it's oozing out of the other holes underneath. So we're gonna leave it like that. I'll probably give it a couple days and then uh, we'll give it a test run. So this is later the same day and uh, <laughs> I think I put enough in. Um, so that was actually not quite two cans. That was like a can and a half. And uh, that tire is not a real big tire. It's an eight inch rim. Through the magic of YouTube, it's now been Two days? Three days? I don't know. It's been a while. And uh, I'm glad to say it had felt really soft out here, but it just needed more time to cure. It actually, the whole tire feels quite firm now. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this does. So uh, let's get it mounted back on the splitter. 
So there she is, that Chinese beauty. Let's put some weight on it and see what she does. Well, look at that. She squished a good bit, didn't she? So what we have here is a fail. But you can see it came off the bead. Uh, the rim's not on the ground. It's still on the tire, but that's not going to last very long. However, the way this splitter is set up, it's kind of in two sides. On this side, I've got the motor. I've got more oil tank than on the other side. I've got the controls. And I've got the lift mechanism, which when you put a log on there, puts a lot of load on this tire. So this tire is the one that takes the brunt of the weight, as opposed to that tire. And of course, that's probably why that one failed. But what I'm thinking is, uh, if I flip these tires around, that uh, failed attempt that I made uh, might actually work on this side. So yet another thing I didn't expect... Um, just towing it around here to the garage, I mean, it, this thing's destroyed. It's no longer hard. But interestingly, when I look inside, that foam is not cured. So I'm going to try one more last hurrah. I'm going to put one more can in it. I think I'm going to just drill some holes here, maybe three holes. I'm going to pump a third of the can in each hole. And then I'm going to seal those holes up and hope the expansion pressure will push this thing back on the beads. And I'm going to let it sit here for a week. I don't need this thing anytime soon. I'll let it sit for plenty of time. So check back in a week or so and we'll see how that tire does. I'm going to move it to the other side so it has less load. We'll give it every chance and we'll get to the bottom of this flat free tire uh, issue. Is it, uh, is it a real fix or is it BS? We'll find out.